Inflammation is the protective reaction of vascularized tissue to local injury. Acute inflammation is the early, almost immediate reaction of tissue to the injury, and it is the first phase of wound healing. Acute inflammation can be triggered by cell or tissue damage or by the presence of dead cells or noxious agents such as bacteria. Acute inflammation typically occurs before the immune response becomes established and aims primarily at removing the injury-causing agent and limiting the extent of tissue damage. Acute inflammation occurs in two overlapping stages, vascular and cellular. In the vascular stage, arterioles and venules near the site of injury constrict briefly, then dilate. Dilation promotes congestion, while an accompanying increase in capillary permeability leads to the movement of fluid into the affected tissue, resulting in the five classic signs of inflammation. Redness, swelling, heat, pain, and loss of function. As fluid leaves the capillaries, the blood remaining in circulation becomes more viscous, it flows more slowly, and clotting occurs. The cellular stage of acute inflammation is initiated by the movement of phagocytic white blood cells, or leukocytes, into the area of injury. The leukocytes begin to adhere to the vessel wall, and then, in a process called emigration, squeeze through the wall and move into the inflamed tissue. The leukocytes wander through the tissue, guided by chemical signals in a process called chemotaxis. The cellular stage culminates in the leukocytes engulfing and degrading the bacteria and cellular debris in a process called phagocytosis. Products of phagocytosis, along with plasma and blood cells, form exudates, which accumulate, causing swelling and pain. Exudates are composed of serous fluid, red blood cells, fibrinogen, or tissue debris and white blood cell breakdown products. Concurrent with the events of the vascular and cellular stages, chemical mediators release bioactive agents that act to mediate the inflammatory response. Mediators are derived from the cells or from plasma. One of the first mediators of an inflammatory response is a cell-derived mediator, histamine, found in high concentrations in the mast cells of connective tissues adjacent to blood vessels, as well as in blood basophils and platelets. Histamine is released in response to a variety of stimuli and causes dilation and increased permeability of capillaries. Serotonin, another cell-derived mediator, performs similar actions. The three major plasma-derived mediators are present in the plasma in precursor forms that must be activated, usually by a series of proteolytic enzymes. The kinins increase capillary permeability and stimulate pain receptors. The clotting system traps exudates, microorganisms, and foreign bodies. The complement cascade causes vasodilation, promotes leukocyte chemotaxis, and augments phagocytosis. Acute inflammation comprises a variety of complex protective responses to injury that together lay the groundwork for the next stages of the body's recovery, immune response and tissue repair.